As soon as I come into the ring. As soon as I come into the ring, I'm gloved. No, stop it. That's not true. While I'm in the dressing room, five minutes before I come out, my gloves are laced up. I'm breaking my gloves down. I'm, bro I'm pushing the lever at the back of my gloves. I'm breaking gloves. the middle of the gloves for my knuckle to pierce through the leather. I feel my knuckle piercing against the tight leather gloves on the Everlast boxing glove. When I come out, I have supreme confidence, but I'm scared to death. I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated, but I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. The closer, the more confidence I get. All during my training, I've been afraid of this man. I thought this man might be capable of beating me. I've dreamed of him beating me, but that won't, but I always stayed afraid of him. But as close as I get to the ring, I'm more confident. Once I'm in the ring, I'm a god. No one could beat me. I walk around the ring, but I never, I never take my eyes off my opponent. I keep my eyes on him, even if he's ready and pumped and he can't wait to get his hands on me as well. I keep my eyes on him, I keep my eyes on him, I keep my eyes on him. Then once I see a chink in his arm, boom, and one of his eyes may move, and then I know I have him. Then when he comes to the center of the ring, he still looks at me with his piercing look, and as if he's not afraid, but he already made that mistake when he, when he looked down for that one-tenth of a second. I know I had him. He'll fight hard for the first two or three rounds, but I know I already broke his spirit. During the fight, I'm supremely confident. I'm moving my head, he's throwing punches. I'm making a miss and I'm countering. I'm hitting him to the body, I'm punching him real hard. And I'm punching him, when I'm punching him, I know he's not able to take my punches. One, two, three punches. I'm throwing him punches and bunches. He goes down, he's out. I'm victorious. Greatest fighter that ever lived. It's time for the rivalry. It's Miami, it's Ohio for the 86th time all time. Let's go! Ohio's won three in a row, trying to make it four, trying to get the five wins overall and continue this great start. It's game on here from Wheaton Stadium. And keeps his feet, 25-30, near side, 35, first down, 45-50. Inside Miami territory, push out of bounds. Scott out of the shotgun, hard on his left hip. We'll get the rock, runs to the right side. Blockers in front, 35, 30, 25, near sideline, 20. Stops, cuts it back inside, down to the nine. Dante Harden on two carries has pulled Ohio inside the Red Hawk red zone. This whole drive has been number 28. Dante Harden just ripping it down the field. The goal line and in. Touchdown, Bobcats. Tie ball game coming up. 7 6 Miami. The last two plays have been dominated by number 47. Back to pass. Nicer goes up the deep ball, goes down the near seam, double coverage, triple coverage, and intercepted by Ohio. Shannon Ballard on the INT at the 16 yard line. Out the signal. Tape on his left ankle. Takes a snap, retreats, looks right, walks to the end zone, looks for McCray, and he caught it. Touchdown, Ohio! Terrence McCray caught it from Theo Scott. A beautifully thrown ball from Theo to Terrence. And Ohio gets it to number 11 for the second time in two weeks. Bobcats on top by 6 13 7. Blockers, first down 35, spins at the 40, across to the 43, trying to drive for more, and he got to the 44. First down, LJ Flintall, first down, Ohio. Fake punt, Hershey's going to run for a first down, leaps over a man to the 43-yard line. Unbelievable. 28 to go, quarter three, big left shot, Ohio blocks it. Loose ball out of bounds at the five. Chad Clemens blocked the ball. How special have the special teams been this year?